Hey there, Sharon Hornell Samir. Welcome to day 2,283 of What You Have to Know. Today we're talking about physical growth for the Let's Grow Annual Challenge. As we do this entire month, we've been focusing on physical growth. And now we are working on the growing process. And of course, I put my graphic away. But the growing process, step five today, which is to inquire, to ask yourself questions, to reflect on the journey and the process so far this month as we're working on the challenge. And specifically as we're going through this growing process. What lessons have we learned? What things have worked well for us? What aha moments and things are we inquiring and finding out and, and seeing upon reflection within ourselves? And today our topic for Supersize Your Business was building a sustainable fashion industry uh, or whatever your industry is, insert your industry here, business in order to supersize and grow it. And we talked about fair labor practices. We talked about, and what does that mean? It means fair wage. It means uh working conditions and safety. It means uh, hours, things like that. It means a lot of different things depending on where you source your products and services and where you get your labor from, right? Uh, let's talk about that. We talked about sustainability and cyclical and cyclical and recycling and upcycling, uh, specifically in the fashion industry. But then I challenge you to think about that for your industry, for your business. Are you do you know where your stuff is coming from? Do you know where your raw materials for your processes or your products or services are actually coming from? Do you know in a digital world where, the example I have to use is, do you know where your chicken is coming from? Here in the United States, a few years ago, I was, uh, uh, I had a food industry for 35 years here in the United States. And part of that was we were uh, daily visited by the USDA. And so I had a great relationship with the USDA and I found out right before I, I left that industry and that business that it had been approved that chickens could be processed in China. To me, this is horrifying and, and I could go into the reasons why I think this is horrifying. But since then, that, that law passed and chickens basically, I, I believe, are raised on the ship on the way to China, processed in China and then shipped back to America. I don't know that very many people in the United States know that that's going on, and if they did, would they consume chicken? I am, I'm personally horrified by that for so many reasons, but uh, that goes on, that type of thing happens in just about every industry you can imagine. Uh, things that we can't even imagine are done in ways and in places that we would never know, uh, and it's as the world is opening up via social media and via the internet and becoming a global organ, you know, global interconnectivity. We need to know that something like that, and maybe not that, that's maybe not the best example, but maybe if, if people find out that the, the fashion or the products that we're selling come from China, where, uh, people were locked in a factory manufacturing those garments or those products actually were locked in, there was a fire and they all died, Four hundred, and, and this is a true story, 400 people, 400 children died in a Chinese factory that was making toys. Do I wanna support the company that makes those toys and, buy, and buys those toys and brings them here and let my grandchildren play with them knowing that you know hundreds of, of little human beings died because of unsafe working conditions? No. And something like that, you could find out if the if the company that uh, had that contract getting those manufactured there, if that gets out into the world, people like grandmas and moms like me are going to say, yeah, no, I'm not going to support that organization. And is it their fault? I think you can always argue, just like uh, sexual harassment and things, it is our job as managers and leaders and organizations to know what's going on in our organization and to be aware of it and take responsibility for it. Uh, and that's a hard pill to swallow sometimes, but that's part of being responsible and having and taking personal responsibility and ownership for our businesses. We're living in a time right now, at least in my humble opinion, where uh, it's not happening. And never in my past have I seen such horrific and irresponsible behavior from politicians, businesses, business owners, individuals, and it's being shirked off. I mean, crime is at an all time high here in America, but nobody's gonna tell you that because they don't want you to know. They want everybody to be afraid and separate. And, and to me, that is 
absolutely unacceptable. Anyway, because I think we all need to take personal responsibility for our thoughts, for our feelings, for our beliefs, for our behaviors and our actions, especially. So that's my pontificating for today. If I can help you in any way with respect to your business or sustainability or your processes and procedures and systems and automations, hit me up and ask. I love doing those things. Otherwise, have an awesome day and I will, of course, be with you tomorrow.